Thromboportin and thromboportic agents way over 20 years ago were initially under development for chemotherapy-induced thrombocytopenia. Um, and actually, we have an agent called oprelvacin, recombinant human interleukin-11, that was ultimately FDA-approved as a thrombopoietic cytokine to treat chemotherapy-induced thrombocytopenia. But this drug caused a lot of adverse effects, was very expensive, was ultimately withdrawn by the manufacturer. So here we are in most of the world, uh, certainly in the West, we don't have a single available FDA or EMA approved agent to treat chemotherapy induced thrombocytopenia. So what do we end up doing? We dose reduce, we treatment delay, we reduce the relative dose intensity of chemotherapy, which we know from a number of studies uh, looking at reduced RDI for all sorts of reasons, not just thrombocytopenia, leads to inferior oncologic outcomes. So after uh, a, you know, some initial observational data of use of remiplostim off-label and a phase two study of use of remiplostim uh, uh, in chemotherapy used thrombocytopenia, we now recognize that thromboportin receptor agonists, in particular remiplostim, given a lot of the data we have, can be quite effective and really appear to be safe in this condition. There are two phase three studies ongoing right now, global studies of remiplostim in chemotherapy induced thrombocytopenia. If those studies are open at your institution or nearby and you have a patient, strongly suggest considering enrolling patients in those studies. Um, it's in the NCCN guidelines to encourage clinical trials in this space. Um, we also have some data from at, with avatrombopag in chemotherapy-induced thrombocytopenia, um, uh, the study showing that avatrombopag is safe and raised the platelet count in those patients, although it was a negative study because it was being used in patients that were perhaps a bit too chemo-naive. Um, we have another study of avatrombopag and chemotherapy-induced thrombocytopenia that is starting now, a multicenter study in the U.S., so more to come on that. But where we stand with these drugs is that there's a clear unmet need with chemotherapy-induced thrombocytopenia. We recognize that um, uh, these agents do work, and we're just, they're off-label uh, uh, right now, certainly. Um, uh, but they can be used, uh, particularly remiplostim off-label, um, under certain circumstances if uh, the drug can, can uh, if you can obtain coverage for the drug. Uh, but otherwise, um, ongoing clinical trials and will hopefully be a different story in terms of uh, uh, the approval status of these drugs here in a few years.